Iya. Hey Ryan, this is uh, Scruffy Granddad here, wishing you the happiest Father's Day on your first Father's Day. Uh, I've had over 30 of them, so it's, they're like birthdays that build up over time. Uh, but I thought to get you started, I should pass on some really ridiculous dad jokes. So here we go. You can keep these or throw them away as you wish. First, if a child refuses to sleep during nap time, are they guilty of resisting arrest? Okay, the next one. Why can't you hear a psychiatrist using the bathroom? Well, it's because the pee is silent. Ugh. I'm reading a book about uh, anti-gravity. It's impossible to put it down. And last night, just for something to do because of this COVID-19 and self-insulating time that we're going through, I decided I'd try to make a pencil with two erasers. It was pointless. Okay, that's enough. I'll stop there. Again, happy Father's Day to you. All the best. And did you hear about the kidnapping at the school? It's okay. He woke up. Did you hear that they don't watch the Flintstones in Dubai? But the people of Abu Dhabi do. Happy first Father's Day, man. I hope it's a good one. Cherish these times with the little kids because they don't stay little for long. Happy Father's Day, man. Hey Hutch, happy Father's Day, buddy. I know you started to experience the world of dad jokes, and uh, I know there might be some resistance, people not laughing, but I need to tell you to keep powering through. And just to show you how powerfully funny they really are, I wanted to share a couple of my favorite with you in front of a live audience. All right, let's go. Ricky, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? It takes 10 tickles. <laughs> uh, okay, that was just a warm up one. Let's try one more. Ricky, Ricky, how do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> where, where are you going? Uh, okay, bad example. Let me uh, let me try something else out for size that might be a little more familiar to you. Just just a second. Okay, maybe this audience is a little more uh, in line with what uh, with what you're going to be working with. All right, so let's try again. Okay, Ollie, <clears throat> how do you get a squirrel to like you? You act like a nut. <laughs> um, okay. Why don't eggs tell jokes? Because they'd crack up. <laughs> okay, maybe there's a camera angle. I, I saw a smile there. I, I don't know if you had seen it, but, but she laughed. She laughed. All right, buddy, that's some of my best work. I know you've got great moments ahead of you. So be strong, let those dad jokes roll, man. All right, happy Father's Day, buddy. Bye. <laughs> How often do you mow your lawn? It looks so nice. That's on a need to mow basis.
How did the farmer find his wife? How? Oh. He tracked her down. Okay, dear, I mowed half the lawn. Which half? The top. Hi, Ryan, it's Mike. Hey, heard you're looking for a little uh, bit of advice and maybe a dad joke or, or so to help you out as a new father. Um, so one of the uh, dad jokes that I thought might be appropriate for you uh, goes like this. Uh, I used to hate facial hair, but now it's growing on me. Uh, so that's my dad joke. Uh, pretty corny, but uh, you know, should work for you. Um, as far as some advice, I would say with Harper, as I learned from my kids, um, get a math tutor early so you don't have to be spending the time teaching them new math and, and then later on having to pay for counseling for your kids. So. Uh, math tutor will come in handy if your line went up soon. Bye. Ryan, this message is particularly for you. You've now reached the most significant stage of life, parenthood. No one is ever really prepared for what lies ahead. In your loving arms you hold the most precious gift you will ever be part of, your beautiful baby girl. She's given unto you temporarily to love, to nurture, and to guide. So many things to look forward to. Her first attempt at crawling, her first word, some say it's always Dada, her first steps, her first full sentence, her scholastic achievements, her first attempt to stand her ground and challenge your authority. And before you know it, she's all grown up, announcing her engagement, and the circle of life begins again. Frederick Buchner wrote, You can kiss your family and friends goodbye and put miles between you. But at the same time, you carry with you in your heart, your mind, your stomach, because you don't just live in a world, but a world lives in you. Know that you're a good man, a good husband, and now you have the fortunate task of being a great dad. My words of wisdom to you, no matter what difficulty Harper encounters, no matter how troubled she feels, Harper needs to know that you are nearby, that she can count on you for comfort, unconditional love, and understanding. Happy Father's Day, Ryan. I know this will be a very memorable one. We love you all. Bye. Happy first Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Ryan. Hope you're enjoying it as your first Father's Day as a dad. Yeah, and we're not parents yet, so we can give you advice from, uh, from our puppy. And it's, remember to always take them out at least three times a day and clean them up after them and make sure they always have food and water. I'm sure it all applies to Harper as well. Greetings from Nana and Granddad Ryan on your very first Father's Day. We're hoping that it is a good one and that you will have many in the future. In fact, there's a record of 62 that I set this year, so there's something to uh, look forward to. And I set it too, because <laughs> I've been around you for 62. Five years, I guess it is. Anyway, your father was a great father to you, and you will be a great father to Harper. And we both wish you a happy, happy Father's, Father's Day. Day. Love you all. Bye for now. Happy first Father's Day, Ryan. You look like you're enjoying being a new father. I'm positive you will love it for the rest of your life. If you're anything like your father, which I know you are, your daughter will know that you love her, protect her, and will be there for her highs and her lows. She's lucky to be able to say, I'm daddy's little girl. Love you. Have a great day.
Father's Day, Ryan. I hope you have a great day. Say love you, Daddy. Love you, Daddy.